Hey guys, Mr. Mimikyu here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing XL Opsagoon in the Ultra League Premier Cup. Now, my opponent had led with Scrafty, and I basically immediately safe switch into Charizard. My opponent has a Jellicent, which I can't do anything about it. Like, I feel like this is probably a hard counter team, but enough uh, chit chat with the team. I also have Trevenant in the back alongside with the party had Charizard that has the exclusive legacy moves dragon breath and blast burn which i was able to evolve during gold battle weekend and i was also able to evolve my shadow charmeleon into shadow charizard to get blast burn and dragon breath which i removed dragon breath for wing attack via an elite tm so that i can like uh do some more uh energy with the uh shadow zard if i were to power it up and here I'm running Obstruct with Obstagoon. They have a Scrafty in the back. I click on, I think it was the Night Slash and they hit me with a Power Up Punch, but it didn't register. So now I go for a Night Slash. I know for a fact they're not gonna shield it. And all I have left is Trevenant. They go into Needle Queen and I just top left and there was no way I can win that. Next opponent having a Swampert. Now, basically with Obstruct here, Obstruct really helped out Obstagoon. Basically it could like boost up its bulk on defense while lowering its own opponent's defense so basically your counter would be doing more damage to your opponent while also trying to fish for a boost with night slash which is pretty pretty low like a one in eight chance my opponent just firing hydro cannon with swampert i'm just trying to soft lose the lead just basically lowered their defenses so that i can bring in trevenant after letting uh obstagoon go down which is exactly what i'm going to do here i go into trevenant and basically hard farm them they can't do anything about it even if they have sludge wave they're still not going to get to it and sure enough i was able to take them down they have a toga kiss i'm going to bait with a seed bomb here to see if we could grab their first shield and which we do we go for a shadow ball to see if we could do, do some big damage but of course they uh double shielded the toga kiss so they must be very weak to trevin in the back all i have left is charizard and here I decided to shield up the Ancient Power because it would be doing so much damage to Charizard. And of course, uh, they go into a Scavalier and quite honestly, like I could have just thrown the Blast Burn so that they wouldn't be able to do extra damage with the Drill Run, but that's okay. I just want to stack back to back to ensure that I would be able to KO both the Escavalier and the Togekiss. So that's what I'm going to do here is throw in another Blast Burn and boom, one shots the Togekiss. Wait, what? Obstagoon Mirror. Now, basically, it comes down to who does or doesn't win CMP because, like, here I clicked on Obstruct the same time they did, which is what they did, and basically now our defense has been lowered while theirs is raised. Now we're back to zero, and basically we're doing the same amount of damage as we were. I know for a fact they didn't build up to the Obstruct. I'm just going to let this go and basically see if we can counter them down. And sure enough, we did. They have a Dragon Eye. I'm just going to throw an Obstruct just so that I could do more fast move pressure with uh, Charizard here, which is what I'm going to do. Look how much damage those Dragon Breaths are doing to... Dragonite, and of course I uh, let the Dragon Claw go. They have Surf fetched, and quite honestly, like this is kind of scary though. If they have Night Slash though, because like with Night Slash you could do super effective against Trevenant, and that's exactly what they're gonna do here. They throw Night Slash, no boost, so that's good to know. And here I'm just gonna try and see if I can farm down my opponent if possible i'm gonna let this night slash go and sure enough we tank it very well and here i'm gonna shield up here build up to a shadow ball and a seed bomb so basically when they bring back in the dragon eye i'm going to bait them with a seed bomb to see if we can get their last shield sure enough we do we go for a shadow ball and secure the ko on the dragon eye and that's a good game well played Next opponent having a Como O. Now, Como O basically beats my entire team. And if uh, Jangmo O were to have a community day, I would expect that Niantic is going to give uh, Como O counter and outrage so basically with outrage it could make como -O a decent dragon type raid attacker while with counter it can help out with its matchups in pvp sort of like a similar pick to machamp just not as accessible because of its four times weakness to fairy which is what como -O does not like to see although it does have poison jab which generates more energy here they ended up using both their shields because they 
were probably weak to Trevin in the back, and sure enough, I was right. So I banked a move for later on Charizard. I bring in Obstagoon. We can tank a Surf. XL Obstagoon is just so bulky. Like, not as bulky as, like, other, like, Pokemon, like Galarian Stungfisk or even Registeel if you're playing in the open, as well as Giratina, Altered, and Cresselia. But I'm telling you, like, you... Definitely need the XL Candy on Obstagoon. It is something you really want though. And I decided to build up my Obstruct one because I have one with Obstruct, the other without. And the one without is basically for the level 40 Ultra League, just so that I can have one for level 40 while the other one for level 50. And they have a Galvantula in the back. And you know how I said I saved that move for earlier? Which is exactly what I did. I'm going to one shot the Galvantula. Boom! Taken out with a blast burn. Definitely got roasted on an open fire. My goodness. Here they bring in Lantern. And they have a move stored on Como. -O. We could possibly live a Dragon Claw. And sure enough, we did. And see if we could take it down. We did. Hooray. Next opponent having a Tentacruel. Now, we all know how tanky Tentacruel is. Especially with its high defenses. And here, I'm going to let this move go. Because I know for a fact that this is just an Acid Spray. Which it is. I'm going to boost my defense back up with Obstruct to see if uh, their Scald would do less damage than I anticipated to be. It doesn't matter if I win the lead or not with uh, Obstagoon because, like, Obstagoon doesn't really do much against Tentacruel, especially when, like, you know, basically, like, lowering their defenses since we all know how tanky Tentacruel is on its defenses since, like, you know, Water and Poison's pretty unique typing, but not as unique as one would think, though. Here, I got a little greedy because I didn't want them throwing another Acid Spray, lowering my defense to minus four, so I just throw in the Seed Bomb. They have a Typhlosion. I bring in Dragonite, and basically, I threw in a Dragon Claw. They snuck an Incinerate through, and I feel kind of bad that I did that, though, but in the end, what can you really say? They have a Togekiss in the back. Now, this is pretty problematic because with Togekiss, like, it can do super effective against Trevenant, as I had said before. Like, Togekiss is kind of an interesting pick in the Ultra League. Like, you know, like, those charms really start to add up over time since, like, you know, the damage output is crazy. And here I go for a Shadow Ball, be sure to kill it. And their only win con is the farming down, which Trevenant says, nope, you're not going to do that. And we KO'd the Typhlosion with a Shadow Ball. Next opponent having a Empoleon. Now, Basically, I recognize the team comp right away that I know for a fact that this is Empoleon Double Charm. Both of which, like, uh, destroy uh, Obscoon to its fullest extent. And sure enough, we see a Charmer. We go into Charizard. And I could have, like, gone into Trevenant, but I didn't want to, like, risk the precaution. I go for a Dragon Claw to see if I can get a shield. And they end up shielding the first Dragon Claw. I'm going to build up to the Blast Burn after shielding up the Psy Shock from the Sylveon, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in the Dragon dragon claw here to see if we can grab their last and final shield and sure enough they did my goodness like they definitely want to win back switch advantage and i'm going to shield up here the size shock and they have another charmer like my goodness like how the heck am i able to read my opponents very well like my goodness and here i could just farm down with trevenant with the shadow claws shadow bramble not the tankiest and they bring back in the Empoleon. I'm going to tank a drill pick, and sure enough, I'm able to. I don't know if a Sea Bomb would KO at this range, so I figured I'm just going to Shadow Ball since it is lethal from this range. They bring back in the Sylveon, and this is a tough call to do because, like, Obstagoon is weak to Charm, and hopefully they don't build up to a potential Moon Blast, though, because that would kind of suck for me, though. I bring in Charizard to do some extra damage, but it didn't work out in the end. Here I get a little nervous thinking, hmm, it must be a Moon Blast, but nope, it ends up becoming a Psy Shock, and XL Obscune, I'm telling you, hangs on like a fret and KOs the Sylveon, so that's a good game. Next opponent having a Shadow Scizor. Now, we all knew how common Shadow Scizor was in the Ultra League edition of Halloween Cup. Now here it's like, wow. I gotta say though, um, Scizor is not often that you would see though in the uh, Open Ultra League due to how... Uh, its matchups are nowadays. They have a Alone Muck that is running Snarl. Usually when you see Alone Muck, you usually expect Poison Jab variants, not Snarl. And quite honestly, like Snarl helps with like better energy generation, but its damage output isn't that great. Since like if you're running a uh, Muck, it's a low in form, you would most likely run Poison Jab to apply fast move pressure 
as well as its Kanto form. I myself have a rank 1 Kanto monk. Here I should have gone for a blast burn, but I felt kind of silly that I didn't. And now we're at a, two, a 0 to 2 shield disadvantage, which is like, my goodness, I'm kind of screwed. And they bring back in the scissor. I'm going to bait with a dragon claw to see if we can get their first shield. And sure enough, they did. And I bring back in the obstagoon, see if I could get off a night slash, but unable to. They're going to iron head me, take me out. Now all that's left is to see if Trevenant can like close this game out in the end, despite the fact that it is at a shield disadvantage. They have a Swampert in the back, which thank goodness, like, you know, like Trevenant is definitely going to win this for sure. Just as long as Swampert doesn't have Sludge Wave though. I throw in the Dragon Claw. Their plan is to farm me down. And even then, like I was able to farm them down kinda. Now I can just bring in Trevenant to see if we can like build up to the Seed Bomb and Shadow Ball so I can take down both the Swampert and Scizor. But you know what? I decided to play it safe and just throw in the Seed Bomb just so I can secure the KO and then just Shadow Claw the Scizor down. So that's a good game. Well played. Next opponent having a Wall Rain in the lead. Now this is very favorable for Obstagoon. They immediately safe switch in the Crobat here. I could have just gone into Charizard though to apply some fast move pressure but at the same time like i know for a fact that uh we get to our moves at the exact same time though the only difference is that they're running shadow ball and i have blast burn on charizard so i decided to stay in play it out to see what obstagoon can do they go for another poison fang here i decided you know let's see what i can do here i thrown a obstruct although i could have just gone for a night slash to possibly secure the ko but i did go for a night slash and i bring in trevenant now they go for another poison fang and basically we're able to take down the crobat they bring back in the wall rain now i go for a seed bomb here to see if we could draw in their first shield which we do we decided to shield up because i want to see if we can apply some pressure with a uh, seed bomb and they have a kingdra so maybe there's a chance that we could win this and we throw in the sea bomb those dragon breaths are very oppressive though my goodness like to be honest though like we all know how good a uh, kingdra is and i bring in charizard here just see if we can shield up the oxitsuka which we do but then they get the attack drop which is going to like favor their part basically because now the blast burn is not going to secure the ko against the uh wall rain and basically i kind of lost this and basically like i played this one pretty poorly don't get me wrong like what i ended up doing is that i ended up uh catching the what i thought it was an ice cold spirit because i totally lost count of their energy so i go for obstagoon and i made a move into trevenant which was kind of silly on my part shouldn't have done that i feel absolutely silly that i did that and that's a bad game next opponent having a exadrill now we all know how Exodrill is like it's like very similar to Galarian Stung Fist, but the only difference is that they're taking a lot more damage from those uh counters, whereas Galarian Stung Fist can take them. They have a quick attack Sylveon, which really caught me off guard though, because like usually you expect uh charm, but instead it ends up becoming a quick attack. They throw in the moon blast, and basically I decided to uh throw in the sea bomb bait to see if we can secure a shield or not, but they ended up not shielding. I go for a Another C bomb to the CMP to what I thought was a Psy Shock, but I ended up taking them down. They have a Wall Rain, and I throw in a C bomb here, and then after we can just go into uh, Obstagoon or maybe Charizard for that matter. After we get taken down, and I bring back in the Obstagoon, I go for the Obstruct to lower their defense so I could do more damage with Counter. And you know what? I'm just gonna let this Ice Cold Spear go but it ends up becoming an earthquake and oh my goodness that obstruct plus the xl candy really helps out with the optimized bulk they shielded the obstruct which is like lmfao my goodness you had to shield up the obstruct and i ended up shielding the rock slide with uh, charizard here and we could just basically farm down i know for a fact that exadrill is literally made of paper because its defenses aren't that great they have left as a wall rain we could just uh they just surrendered Okay, uh, next opponent having a Galarian Stung Fist. Now, we all know how to play this out. Like, you know, we're doing super effective damage to them while they're doing neutral. I go for a Obstruct. Yeah, I go for Obstruct to lower their defense and see if I can do more damage to them. They throw the Earthquake, which doesn't even bring me down to yellow, which is like the power of XL Obstagoon right in your hands. My goodness, it's so tanky. I go for a Night Slash on the CMP tie 
to a another earthquake and look at that folks obstruct really does come and play and we're able to win the zeros they have a, a low in nine tails which i could just possibly go into i believe uh charizard here yeah charizard since like that's the better play instead of going into trevenant and we can let this weather ball go even though it is neutral because of charizard fire and flying type they have a trevenant of their own and you know what i'm just gonna bait here with a dragon claw just so that we could secure the ko but at least we were able to call it and it was a cmp tie to a c bomb so we let that go we go into our own trevenant basically we have a two to one shield advantage so here i get a little nervous just in case it is a sh shadow ball but they ended up baiting me with a c bomb i want to shield again just to be safe and they end up double baiting me which is like unfortunate for me and i end up throwing the c bomb to the cmp which is like nerve-wracking like i could have just been able to take him down with a uh, shadow ball but i uh didn't so that's unfortunate for me but they end up letting the c bomb go like i could have just gone shadow ball like why the heck did i not go for shadow ball and here i just go for a dragon claw here which is completely unnecessary and they ended up shielding it but they wouldn't matter anyway but that's a good game next opponent having a obstagoon now we all know how to play this out we basically see who can win the cmp to the obstruct and that's how it's supposed to be like because not often that obstagoon would be running a cross chop here in the ultra league compared to the great league and they shielded the obstruct which was very funny <laughs> and we caught the seed bomb on the trevenant oh wait aqua tail crap i'm like I'm really tired at the time I'm recording this. My goodness. Like, <laughs> oh man, that was, that catch was clutch, man. That was so good. And here they go back in the Obstagoon. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was too funny that we caught the Aqua Tail. We're going to throw in a seed bomb with Trevin in here to do some meaningful damage since those Shadow Claws are just doing absolutely nothing since Obstagoon is just tickling them and they just shrug off like it's nothing. I decided to bring back in my own Obstagoon, see if we can counter them down, and sure enough we did, and we're just gonna throw in the Obstruct here. I could've just gone Night Slash either way, and they let it go, we go into Dragon Light, and my probable win con is see, maybe they might just go Shadow Ball, but nope, they go for Shadow Punch. Here they fall short, which I thought was a uh, Shadow Ball, but nope, it's a Sludge Bomb, which caught me off guard, and we tie. <laughs> My goodness, that tie was just... Oh my goodness, that was too good to be true. Here they have a Dragonite here. I go for the Obstruct again. And oh my goodness. And here I decided to shield up the Superpower. Just to be safe since, you know, it's going to do big damage since Obstagoon does not like the Superpower. They have an Escavalier in the back. I throw in the Night Slash. I go in the Charizard. Like, basically the thing is they can't do anything to us unless they have something else besides uh drill run but they end up having aerial ace which doesn't do a lot of damage since aerial ace doesn't have stab and neither does drill run and i'm surprised like the scavalier doesn't have like a good uh steel type charge move which is kind of ironic given its typing here i shield up the aerial ace so i can preserve switch advantage which i'm able to do they go back into their dragonite i'm just gonna throw in two dragon claws we get the first shield we go for the second here and we end up drawing out their last and final shield and Basically, this is pretty much game over here. I go into Trevenant to see if I could, like, do some meaningful damage with C-Bomb, which I kind of feel silly about, but at the same time, I want to preserve the health if possible on uh, Trevenant, though, because, like, I know for a fact just going straight into Obstagoon would be unfavorable for me because of Superpower, since, like, we see how much uh, Superpower would be doing to Obstagoon. All they have left is a Magnezone here. I go for an Obstruct again, just because I just love obstructing my opponents. Obstruct all the way, baby. What more can I say? Oh my goodness, like, Obstruct is just so good. Like, you know, you're boosting your defense and they just surrendered. Next opponent having a Shadow Swampert. Shadow Swampert basically beats Charizard. We can't go into Trevenant, though, because then they're just gonna hard counter us. So basically, we're just gonna play it out from here. We can tank one Hydro Cannon. Quite honestly, I could have just gone for Obstruct, but that's okay. Like, you know, I'm not too worried about it. And here, I'm just going to see if I could let this go, see if we survive. And sure enough, we did. XL Obstagoon really coming in clutch here, folks. And they have a Wall Rain. We go for Obstruct. We go into Charizard. And basically, all they can just hit us with Icicle Spear since it is uh, neutral here. Like, just imagine someone out there using Blizzard on their wall rain like hello 
I would not expect that to be honest and we just take them down with a blast burn. Back comes in the swamp burn. We can just shield up the hydro cannon and proceed to the farm down and see what they have in the back. And sure enough, it ends up becoming a trebinet of their own. Now, I could have just gone for a, uh, what is it, uh, blast burn? But I end up throwing a dragon claw. We live the seed bomb, which is kind of like, oh my goodness, and... Here I go into my own Trevenant. Now this is kind of mindful here because I tried to catch a Shadow Ball, but it didn't work out for me. I'm going to shield last second just in case it is a Shadow Ball, and thank goodness it is. And here I decided to throw in the back-to-back Sea -back Bombs just so they can't uh, KO us with a uh, Shadow Claw since we don't know their IVs. Well, mine is shown on the screen here, and that's a good game well played. Moving on to the last and final match of the video, we got a wall rain lead. Now, we all know how to play this out here. I'm going to try and see if I can unleash some obstructs, boost up my defense while they're doing less damage with Icicle Spear. Here, I end up clicking on the obstruct, but we end up losing CMP, which is kind of ironic though, given that Obstagoon's attack is higher than wall rain. So I'm guessing theirs is probably like a attack weighted IV uh, wall rain, which I guess kind of makes sense though. And we're unable to KO them with a Night Slash. Here we could just let the uh, Icicle Spear go. It doesn't even matter. Like I could have just gone for uh, Night Slashes instead of Obstruct, but I just wanted to boost up the defense and apply more fast move pressure with counter. Here they have his Talon Flame. I'm just going to shield up the Flame Charge, which I thought it was a Brave Bird, but why the heck would uh, Talonflame throw in the uh, Brave Bird right away to lower its defenses? That is absolutely silly. Here I know for a fact that this is just a Flame Charge, so I'm not going to shield this. So, good call by me. I'm going to throw in a Dragon Claw just to see if I can secure the KO. And sure enough, it didn't. And my goodness, Talonflame is not that tanky here. They have Trevenant in the back, but this is pretty much a wrap here. They can just shield up and I can just go into my own Trevenant to see if I can build up to a Shadow Ball. I'm just going to shield up and basically see if I could get off a Shadow Ball here. But I end up losing CMP, but it doesn't even matter anyways. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video of me doing some battles in the Ultra Premiere with XL Obscoon. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is Mr. Mimikyu, and I am saying, peace out.